Today we're going to be god boosting the brand new Fate Weaver Adora in Battles 2 with using the Ultra Boost on the Engineer all the way to times 5, the Permanent Brute on the Alchemist, and finally buffing it with the Homeland Defense on the Monkey Village. But also, if you haven't heard, there is currently a Battles 2 Charity Showdown happening right now. Pretty much 15% of every transaction made in the Battles 2 shop will be donated to charity so long as you use a creator code when making the purchase. And the top three creators that get their code used the most will get a custom in-game cosmetic. And there's even a leaderboard with all the rankings for all the balloon tubers, and we're currently in second place. But I want to get that first place spot because first place gets to pick the charity and as well gets an additional cosmetic item. But it's not going to be easy to win, but at the same time, I know we have the strongest and best Battles 2 community out there, and with all your guys' help, we can do this so make sure to go down to the shop and if you haven't purchased things like the club membership which i highly recommend or even just a cybercrime showcase currently going on or heck just plain old monkey money make sure that before you purchase anything you click the creator support button in the bottom right hand corner and you enter in my creator code Voltrix here because remember this is all for a good cause and we're trying to get that first place spot and i can't do it without your guys' help so let's all come together and let's win this also, the games that we played in today's video were absolutely crazy, so if you do enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. And also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because subscribing is free, and ask anyone, you will not regret it. It looks like our bonus hero is gonna be Quincy. He's a chat for that, by the way. We got Faye Weaver Adora, though, okay? Obviously, since we are trying to God boost her in today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this could either be really, really good, or really, really bad. So that's what makes it exciting, in my opinion. He's going to be starting off with Quincy over there. Okay, fair play. Well done. I guess I probably should start off with Fate Weaver Door right here. Thoughts? I don't know, boys. We got the best late game map in the game, Doc. So I'm hyped about that. And oh, yeah, she can see through obstacles. That's how OP she is, baby. But I'm going to need a little bit of help. That's for sure. And two, with having Fate Weaver more towards the front of the map. These rounds aren't going to be as stalled out, so that kind of sort of sucks, but I'd rather have her up here rather than down here, uh, if that makes sense, okay? So let's upgrade this engineer here a little bit because here comes some blue balloons. Oh, no. Can we defend those? Let's go for pin here. Okay, surely with pin, we're fine. We are, in fact, fine. He's got boat. Okay, so Quincy, boat, definitely a pretty go to tower combination, but is it the tower combination for Docs? I'm going to have to say no, but I mean, you could say the same thing with my strategy because like technically my strategy is quite bad, but we need this strategy because all three of these towers are going to be able to buff Fate Weaver Adora here. Okay, round four, Space Pinks it is. I am a little bit nervous, not going to lie. Maybe do I go for Sprockets or Double Gun? Double Gun is cheaper, but Sprockets could lead in the Sentry Expert, which is what I want for the mid-game rounds, right? So... I'm kind of leaning more towards Sprockets. Yeah, Sprockets it is. But yeah, like I was saying, this could be either very, very OP or very, very not OP. Just because, like, I don't know if God boosting her is going to make, like, her base normal attack super, super strong. I think it's going to make her level 20 chains of fate ability very, very strong. But besides that, it might not do all that much. But that is why we are here making this video round five of course group screens it is we actually have a decent amount of eco but like look see popping the balloons again right as they come off the map like i can't avoid it bro i would rather have my towers up here dude so very unfortunate stuff but uh are we good against all of those yes we are we do have the level three ability as well in case we did use that on fate weaver door of course uh like i said the last time that i used her in the last video uh, the level 3 ability at first isn't really all that reliable and good, but I feel like over time, of course, as she levels up, it gets a lot better and a lot more reliable as well, okay? And it's more of a cleanup upgrade, by the way. It's not something that's going to shred 4 to 5 BADs or anything crazy like that, like the Chains of Fate ability, but round 7 grouped yellows, boys, and we did, in fact, get that first blood, guys. It's a big deal. He is rocking with the village, too. Okay, so Boat Village, what is his final strategy? Possibly Ice. Both village eyes would be pretty OP. Maybe the super monkey as well. But let's get back to space eco in here with space black balloons. Uh, because now we have to start preparing our defenses uh, for these mid-game rounds. With, again, going for the Century Expert. And with this update, guys, they made the Century Expert $300 more expensive. So that kind of sucks. It's going to make things a little bit harder for us. But do not fear. We can still make everything work out. Why is he not sending us anything, though? I'm kind of scared now. 
He, he could be plotting to rush us. Or, I mean, he's just worried about his defenses. Okay, wait. Back at it with the Groot Greens. Not sure what his thought process is there, though. With sending the Groot Greens. But let's go pre-buy the Sentry Expert now. Because it actually takes time for the Sentry Expert turrets. Or the Sentry Guns to spawn in from that upgrade. That kind of sort of makes sense. But... I'm gonna send Groot Reds here, play this safe, because on top of this, we're gonna have to go for a Radar Scanner Village. Yeah, we gotta go for a lot of different things, I guess. Do we clear the obstacle? Do we? Let's just do it. It's fine. Because the Sentry Expert couldn't see through it, so I kind of felt bad, you know? Like, only a door could see through it, so... Now, now it's fair for both parties, but... Camo freaking green here, watch this. Level 3! Yes, sir! Yeah, the level 3 has the ability to pop all balloon sites, I believe. I mean, you can pop camos right there. While, like, her base attack can, of course. Uh, but Space Rainbows were definitely the play there. Round 13 here. I think, you know what we should do? We should go for a lead to gold. Yeah. Set this to last. Let's start upgrading to that now. Back at it with the Groot Greens. Bro, this guy, he loves his green balloons, man. Uh, no, don't steal the pops. Do not steal the pops, turns. Sell them. Do not steal the pops. Okay. It stole some of the pops there. I'm not gonna lie. But we still made a decent amount of money. Okay, and I just, like, sold all the good turns, didn't I not? Oh, God. We're good here, right? I mean, those were only pink balloons, so... Yeah, we're chilling. Wait! Should we also go for a balloon trap? Yo, balloon trap might be the play, guys. It might actually be the play. I think what we should do... Stop Eco in here at 12.02 Eco. And I guess we'll go for the balloon trap. I don't know. Should I cross back the balloon trap with the middle path or nah? I mean, then we'll be able to target it. But then, like, this lead to gold is, like, pretty much useless. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not going to be useless. No, no, no. Trust the process. This is going to work out here. Yeah, we're going to go with the cool cross path, the middle cross path. Because, again, we are able to target the balloon trap. So, we'll target it all the way. Okay. No. Stop it. There we go. Wait. Did that not... Dude. Because I clicked on the X, technically. Get out of here. There we go. And as you can see, the balloon trap now eats the balloons pretty much immediately. But now the rounds are really not going to be stalled out. Because the quicker that you pop the AI balloons, the quicker the rounds will end. And that's not really that good for our case scenario since we're not using a pure eco strategy. But we are definitely relying on our eco game quite a bit at the same time. Even with having alt eco, such as the balloon trap and also the rubber to gold. Which I think I do want to go for the rubber to gold. And yep, camo greens here a little unfortunate let's transition to pink eco by the way now too as well Ooh, yeah let me go for a banana farmer too all the way in this corner banana farmers can auto collect balloon traps and i tend to be really bad at like remembering to do that so having that banana farmer is going to be a game changer for us for sure round 19 already man oh my god again rounds are flying by i'm going to start going too as well for um, a bottom path village right about here. Just because we can get even more eco from just simply ecoing with going for the monkey town and monkey city upgrades. Um, on top of that, we can cross path this with the middle path so that this balloon trap right here has the ability to pop camo balloons. So maybe after just one more income boost, uh, we'll finally go for this. So beautiful round 20 map. Are we fine here? Uh, I hope. I mean, I could... No, dude, we're doing terrible against this. You know what can save the day? You know what can, ladies and gentlemen? Level 3. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me go for a rubber to gold, too. Beautiful. And Oh, yeah, the rubber to gold can pop camos. Beautiful. He still hasn't revealed his third and final tower. I swear, if it's a tower that can regen his lives, I'm so mad. I don't care. I'm going to be so freaking mad. Camo freaking rainbows. Brother, you're like... 20 rounds late. Okay, maybe not 20. Like, you're... Mm, how many rounds late is that? 10? 11? 11 rounds. No, no, no. Wait. 9. I'm good at math. Okay. There we go for the Monkey City, though. He sent me a few Zebras as well. That's kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. That's a little scary. Should we now eco with Zebras, though? I think we should, because our eco game is trash. So, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, wait. Why don't I go for a Rubber to Gold 2 down here, since he's sending me all this eco? Duh. Yeah, let's definitely do that. That's the play for sure. So I'm going to hold off on the Zebra Eco here for a second. Farm! What? What is bro cooking? Boat Village Farm. Yo, this guy is a Chad though. But that is not what I expected. <laughs> 
Okay, so he can't reach out his lines. This is good. This is perfect. He's going to have no choice but to rush us then before the end of round freaking 40. So we're going to be able to showcase the God-boosted Fate Weaver Adora in action. So long as we actually do that in the first place. Because if you think about it, guys, to God-boost a tower, it's actually extremely hard. Because we got to go for the Ultra Boost, Homeland Defense, and the Permanent Brute. Guys, in total, just for the fifth tier upgrades... That's $200,000. So obtaining that amount of money is not going to be a walk in the park. And mind you, those are only for the fifth tier upgrades alone. That does not include the cost for the upgrades prior. Obviously, the fifth tiers, though, are the most expensive. Are we fine here? Um, No, you're lying. Oh, my. Yo, level three actually clutched up for me, though. Level three legitimately did. Okay. I think we should go for another NG here. Thoughts? Because this is going to be a century champion. And I want it to have the middle cross path rather than the top cross path, okay? Because the middle cross path, you can do a little bit more damage to Moab class balloons and fortify balloons as well. Uh, but round 26 is here. I'm going to go back to pinks here. And uh, please just don't send me DDTs. Just, just, give me a, just give me a little bit longer. I very much appreciate that. Because uh, at the moment, I don't think I can actually pop DDTs. So, we probably should pre-buy this, just to be safe. Okay, because Sentry Champion, I believe it actually got buffed with this update. But we'll definitely still make a video on it. But, yeah, I think it's a little bit more goaded than what it used to be. Should we stop being going here very, very soon? Probably, since he has farms, guys. We probably should. So, 5200 kill? Yeah, that's a beautiful number right there. So, I think the next thing we should try to go for is probably the Ultra Boost itself, right? I'm thinking so, boys, because obviously Ultra Boost is something all the way to the max Ultra Boost, which, by the way, in Battles 2 is times 5, not times 10 like in BTD6. Bro, okay, this guy is literally like 10 rounds late to all the rushes he sent. A singular mod. You've got to be trolling. <laughs> you literally, like, was that a misclick? Like, I hope it was, bro. I, I really, really hope it was. But yeah, the reason why it's times 5 in Battles 2 is because it's just too hard and too long. To obtain a times 10 tower in such a fast paced game compared to BTD6. Because yes, this game is a lot faster paced than BTD6. So we're going to have to ultra boost that to times 5. Which still takes quite a bit of time. And then after that, probably go for the permanent brew. And then finally, the homeland defense. Uh, but $100,000 for this upgrade, bro. Just for the ultra boost, man. And we're currently at 63000 So it's a little bit of a yikes. We probably could have maybe possibly put off the monkeyopolis we didn't know though if he's gonna rush us with ddt's around 26 and whatnot so rather definitely would play that safe uh, but here comes the round 30 b at freaking b please brother please do not plan on rushing me just yet this is gonna be a little bit longer and let's by the way target our chains of fate ability uh more down here or yo if i target it right there nah i'll uh shoot yeah right there okay let's go for ultra boost by the way too Let's get to Ultra Boosting. Fate, Weaver, Adora. Okay, step one is almost complete. I mean, we still have the uh, Ultra Boost to the times five again. But at least we have the Ultra Boost kind of sort of set in stone, man. I think I will keep the Sentry Champion just to help us. Because, like, bro, like, this is not BTD6, okay? <laughs> these towers definitely need a little bit of help. So we'll, we'll keep that and we'll keep all of these towers. Which, honestly, these towers aren't going to do very much. But... The next thing we need to go for... Oh, wait. We can already Ultra Boost. See, the cooldown even on the Ultra Boost is not very long. So maybe it doesn't really take all that long uh, to Ultra Boost summon all the way to times 5. Please do not die to the AI, my friend. I mean, he's got decent farms. I mean, he spammed the heck out of them. So he also cleared his obstacle. I don't know why he hasn't done that just yet. Uh, but let's start going for this. Let's Ultra Boost you. Times 3 already. Beautiful. Wait. Chains of Fate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was kind of a waste of an ability. I'm not gonna lie, but oh, dude. Oh, when she was out buffed, she got that increase of range. Okay, so permanent brew, and then when she gets that permanent, yep, 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 yep. We can go for that. No, what? No, you weren't supposed to do that. You, you, you weren't supposed to do that. Okay, I'll boost you again though. Why can't I target you? Okay, now you're permanently buffed. Now are we good? What? Okay, whatever, bro. We have to wait for the level 10 to come back anyway. We're fine. Trust me. Trust the process. 
We are fine here. I think I should probably, though... Uh, should I try to go for Homeland? Maybe, boys. Maybe Homeland if I sell you. So, yeah. Let's try it. Okay, we got called to Arms. Eh, that's not what I wanted, though, bro. That's not what I wanted, though, bro. We're good here. Okay, we're gonna have to use it, though. Yeah! Level 3, too? Come on, level 3! Come on! Okay, we're gonna need a homeland. D dude, that did nothing. Oh my god, no. Ultra boost you. Okay, we're good. Sorta. We're gonna have to go for BMA. We're gonna have to go for BMA for the insides. For sure here, boys. Um, that means, though, can we use this ability one more time? Oh, wait. BMA here in a second. Wait. B one shot him. One shot him. BMA, please. No, 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 no. BMA. 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 Please. Please, BMA. D BMA. Bro, my BMA sold me. My BMA sold me. No, 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 no. My BMA freaking sold me, bro. Are you kidding me? Okay, round 30 is here in the next game. We got to give this another shot, bro. But, like, what I should have done in the last game was micro the BMA. Then I would have technically been fine. But let's sell both of you. And let's go for the ultra boost right here. And let's get to ultra boosting Fate Weaver Adora. Okay, got the permanent brew as well. And she's already ultra boosted at times three. So this time around, we're looking a lot better because it's still only round, what, 32? Just turn round 32. But dude, he's spamming farms. He has a lot of money coming in. His defenses are not that good, though. So, like, please don't die to the AI. Surely he doesn't, right? I mean, he's sabbing and whatnot, so he, he should be chilling. Uh, but I'm going to go for an overclock as well. Because once we ultra boost Fate Weaver Adora all the way to times five, after a while, the overclock ability will actually go away, but the ultra boost will stay. So that means we have to overclock her again, even after uh, she is ultra boosted times five, which she is now, baby. Let's go. Okay, so now finally, what we need to go for is the good old homeland defense, which I guess we can micro down here since it will be a little bit cheaper inside the range of this village. And then we should be good, man. We're, we'll be good to go. And also, like, what should I ultra boost? Should I? I think I should. I mean, based off the last game performance, I think ultra boosting the center champion to help us out a little bit is completely fair. Hopefully, you guys feel the same as well. We could... Oh, you know what I didn't go for the last game? I didn't go for a transforming tonic either. Ooh, okay, so we definitely could do that as well. Let me ultra boost you. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to ultra boost this. But there we go. Got the homeland defense too. Ready, set, in stone. And we're going to keep this village here just so it has constant camo detection and also the jungle drums buff being applied to it. And then maybe we micro the chains of fate ability more towards up here. Okay, got the total transformation as well to help us out. Bro, like, we are more than ready at this point because this is already ultra boosted times five as well. Like, what do I... <laughs> There's nothing else to ultra boost, dude. I mean, we could technically go for... A triple XL trap, but like, is that gonna really help us out all that much? Not really. I think I'd rather have BMA. Honestly, I guess why not though? But I, I think we should start spamming the come at me emo. Okay, he he's going for a lot of defenses too, in case we counter probably. But we do in fact. Oh wait, thumbs up. He thumbs us up. Round thirty eight. Let's see. Yeah, real quick, before we show this to Fen, make sure you go down to the shop tab and then click the creator support button in the bottom right hand corner and then enter in my creator code Boltrix right here because it directly supports me. And with the Battles 2 charity showdown, we are trying to get first place and get that in-game cosmetic. So use my code to show our community is on top. Chains of Fate. Okay. I ultra boosted that. Yeah, ultra boost you too. I used everything, right? Oh no, troll. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Okay, we're good here. Trust, trust, trust. We'll go for triple XL too. Why not? Okay. Let's um just ultra boost you, I get. Oh shoot. I can't I don't even think I can ultra boost this technically. Go for that. No. Okay. Come on. Come on. Shoot. No. No. I think I'm dead there. No, I'm good. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, that was so scary. There was, was that only like two? 
He has so much more money. Oh, I'm so screwed here. Okay. We'll definitely have to counter 100,000 pops. That's it, bro? Come on now. Max buffs, though. Overclock ability still on it as well, right? And I'm not tripping, right? I, I think I got everything. <laughs> I don't know why I think I'm tripping, man. Okay, let me get the home in. Uh, defense, though, ready to go. Surely you're going to rush me again. Like, bro, do you not really? You have to rush me. I mean, I'll take the win, but, like, I, I kind of want to see if we can defend again. I don't know, man. Maybe I should just rush him. He doesn't have any tier 5. Oh, yo. Yo, this guy doesn't have any tier 5s unlocked. We're in casual. Okay, I'll spam the come at me emote again. The second that I see him rush me, I'm rushing him. Okay, so let's get ready to do that. Okay, he's just not rushing us, so let's send it anyway. Balloon boost that as well. Sorry. I don't know why you're saying... Dude, you have so much money. You died of that. Oh, no. You used your level 20 after. You're so screwed. You're going to have to counter, my friend. No? I mean, I'll take... Again, I'll take the win, but, like, come on. Dude, without these tier 5s... Dude, <laughs> Weaver Adora is so dead. <laughs> okay, wait. Can he, can he actually pop out the Fortify BAD Lair? I don't think. Are we just going to really get a GG round 40 victory? Oh, now you tower boost? Okay, you're going to be able to pop out the lair, but you're dead to the DDTs and everything underneath. For sure, actually. Um, Oh, I just one-shotted that with the BMA. I completely forgot. No, I wanted to use the Chains of Fate. No. Okay, so despite us God boosting, literally God boosting Fate Weaver Adora, she didn't seem all that OP, man. I mean, even the ability itself, I didn't really notice anything too, too different. Maybe I did something wrong. Definitely possible, because, like, I don't know. Like, I, I thought she was going to do a little bit better, but we still were able to obtain her. Saw her in action, and we got the W. Guys, if you want to see more content like this, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And as well, if you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button, because we're trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. With your help, we can do it. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video, where we see if I can win with only Super Monkey in a ranked match. And no, that is not clickbait.